So we are ready and we want to have all this ragdoll magic into our simulation. So first of all, let's go and delete this little test stem. And like I said before, I just want this to be a quick start. I'm not going to build this from scratch. So I'm actually going to cheat it. So instead of building it from scratch, I'm going to use this shell tool here, this simulate, that uh, is the automatic way of setting up a crowd simulation. And then I'm just going to use that to set up the ragdolls. And after that, I'm going to go into our previous simulation, copy over the important stuff into the new simulation, and yeah, then we're set. Cool. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to disconnect this. And I'm going to have a null again. Out crowd. And then, you know me, I want it black. So, there you go. And really easy to use this setup. I just click this button to set up a simulation network. And then it asks me to select a crowdsource, which is this node. So I'm going to select that one, press enter. I can make a state of the different clips, but I just want to use this ragdoll state. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to click accept, and let's see what we'll get. So we get this messed up geometry again, but that is just because the crowd source is setting a state that doesn't exist. But let's see what we have here. So we have the dop network, side effects wants it out in the object root instead of like what I did, cram everything into the same geo node. If we go into this node, you can see what it's done. So it's set up this agent constraint network. We have the out here, and then we have the constraints here. As I'm very OCD, I want this to be black. And now I'm gonna go up to this crowd source, and instead of having this initial state to idle, I'm gonna set this to ragdoll. And by the way, another thing that side effects like to do that you probably have seen before is to have a dop IO that resumes the simulation in the same node as the source geo. So you can see that this is pointing to the dop net. Let's keep it like this and have the visibility of the dopnet turned off. Uh, but let's go in and see what's going on in here. So you can see it's identical to the test simulation ragdoll node. We have the constraints up here, and here is the crowd object. A difference from our previous setup is that we sourced in the crowd through the crowd object. And here they are sourcing it through the pop source. This used to be the only way to do it, but these days I prefer doing it through the crowd object myself. But otherwise, like before, we have the multi-solver. So we have the crowd solver and the bullet solver. So let's see, what do we have? If I press play, oh, they're just falling. And that is because we don't have anything to collide with. As so you can see, we have this merge that had nothing going into it. So let's just add a ground plane here. And now if I do that, you will see they are gonna connect to the ground. Looks pretty cool. So now let's get our old stuff back in. So I'm gonna go in here again. I'm gonna go into the dopnet. And what do we want? We want the states. We don't want, we don't want the crowd object. We want the states and the trigger. So I'm gonna copy this. And then I'm gonna go out to our crowd sim here. And then I'm gonna paste that in. And the states, of course, need to go into this state merge here. So I'm gonna connect the idle. And then the walk. And I also want to connect the transitions here. And if we go out and I'm going to this crowd again, I'm going to set this to idle. So there we go. But you will notice they are idling. But when this box comes over, nothing happens. And you also have this little warning here on the crowd transition. And that is because in this new crowd object we are not up in this new crowd object we are not pointing to the transition graph so we need to point to that i'm going to go into the agent setup again our transitions and then any clip properties and i'm going to select the our properties but so now when we have that now everything should be back to normal right you see they are walking and then they are turning and walking this way Cool. 